point is, scape go. You are absolutely right about Kyle Shanahan and his inability to complete the big game. I mean, I've seen it firsthand. Trust me, 28-3. I know what it is. And now you've seen it in two Super Bowls since. And he's given Patrick Mahomes, he's just served it up on a platter and said, here you go, take this Super Bowl, will you? Unbelievable. 855-212-4CBS. Great phone call, Cliff. Way to get us started in Toronto. Sabah, North Carolina, you're on CBS Sports Radio. Put him up. Put him up. You got me, buddy? I got you. All right. I am just upset about all this jumping of the line with Patrick Mahomes and media, not you in particular, just media in general. Elevating Patrick Mahomes to the um, Tom Brady status is just like elevating Brock Purdy to Patrick Mahomes status because Purdy is the only quarterback to take his team to two straight conference championships in his first two years in the league. So these three Super Bowl wins doesn't justify jumping Patrick Mahomes ahead of Brady, who beat these quarterbacks now. On, uh, in the Super Bowl, he'd be a Hall of Famer. Kurt Warner, Russell Wilson, future Hall of Famer. Matt Ryan, likely Hall of Famer. Donovan McNabb, Jared Goff, a number one overall pick. Jake DeLome, and wait for it, Patrick Mahomes twice. Not only with the dynasty of the Patriots, but with the historically fairly win team of the Buccaneers in seven Super Bowls. Patrick Mahomes has beaten the great Jimmy G, Jalen Hurts, and Brock Purdy in his Super Bowls. Even to get to the Super Bowl, Brady had to beat Hall of Famers. Tate Manning. Ben Roethlisberger, and yes, again, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes, he had to beat Tua, Josh Allen, Lamar, Trevor Lawrence. So this talk about Patrick Mahomes better than Tom Brady is just elevating him prematurely to a place he doesn't belong and a place he probably can never be because we have head-to-head competition, which he lost twice with two separate teams that Tom was on. So stop the narrative. The highest Patrick Mahomes can be is number two in my book. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Boy, you guys got to live up to it today. I mean, uh, two genius calls to start the program, like like to open up the phones and have two genius calls back to back? I'm feeling some kind of way. Whoop, whoop. You guys are on your game today. Sabah, by the way, is right about the Brady head-to-head thing. We can't dismiss that. As much as I love Patrick Mahomes and what he's done, and I can't debate the start of his career and what he is, he did lose twice, head-to-head. See, the thing with Mike, you know, there's only one Mike, right? I'm talking about Jordan. When he he got the chance to play Magic in the final, they didn't lose. See, if he lost that finals, then you say, well, wait a minute, Magic should be better. That's the reason why we talk about that the way we do. If there is crossover, and it's rare, it's rare. Kobe never played Mike in an NBA finals. It's rare. But when you talk about the two head-to-head matchups that could have either gotten you to a Super Bowl or won you a Super Bowl, and you lose those games, can't dismiss it. Sabaz, she's, she's right. She's absolutely right. Let me grab uh, Rich in Chicago. Rich, you're on CBS Sports Radio. Put him up. Hey, put him up, Carl. What's going hey, on? Hey, I Rich? want to talk a little bit about what you were talking about earlier. 